Welcome to Code Station 33. I am your instructor, Thomas McLaughlin. Let's take a look back into our Arduino world. So we are now looking at the device we will be using, our particular microcontroller called the Arduino Uno. Now there are lots of knockoff versions of this, so you don't have to get the Arduino Uno. In fact, we're not even gonna use a real device in the course, we're gonna use a virtual version of the device. This is what an Arduino Uno looks like. We have lots of things on here. Don't get intimidated too much by it because we're going to go through all the things that we need and it's really not that bad. Uh, so first, we have our AT Mega 328 microcontroller. This is our 16 megahertz controller that we talked about in our last video and it can perform 16 million instructions per second. That's a lot. We also have all these GPIO pins on either side of our board, and these pins allow us to connect different peripherals, allow us to connect our monitors and our sensors. They also allow us to get data in and out through these serial data ports, and they also have a feature here called analog pins. Now, the difference between analog and digital is really the difference between a downloaded audio file on your computer and a record on a record player. A digital audio file is a single sample of sound. So there's gaps, but a record player gives you a continuous sound. We'll take more of a look at that later on when we start getting into some of these other pins. Now, the other thing that we have on here is our external power supply, but also our USB plug can provide power for us as well. So for the most part, you won't need to worry about this if you have access to a USB power. There's a reset button which restarts the Uno. It's like turning it on and off. Then there's an in-circuit serial programmer. We're not gonna do much with this because in reality, it's not gonna show up on the board that we're gonna use which is our um, reference board on Tinkercad. You see what it looks like? We're missing those pins. Also, the reset button is over here rather than being over here. Now, in addition to those different things, we have LEDs on board, one that we can turn on and off ourselves through pin 13. We'll learn more about that later. We have these TX and RX pins that tell us more information about inf uh, the TX and RX pins here. So these LEDs match up with these two pins right here, serial in and out. And then of course we have a power light to let us know that the board is turned on. So that is it for our information about our Arduino. You can find these Arduino boards online fairly inexpensively. They run for a knockoff that's not put out by Arduino itself for about $10. But the Arduino board at most is $30. And you can find them on uh, Amazon or you can find them through um, some other kind of different websites. Uh, the other thing we could do which is what we're going to do, is we're gonna do this for free in Tinkercad where we don't need to pay anything and we can run all of these uh, experiments virtually rather than having to do them in the real. But you can do them in the real. They're gonna work exactly the same way in the real. Thanks for watching. We'll take a look at putting some code onto our Arduino board next time. Bye-bye.